things you've got to keep in mind. And we talk about receiving the ball, and I'm going to do it barehanded. Again, to reiterate the fact. We're going to give a good target, the full face. I'm going to do it without a glove so you can see how my hand's supposed to be positioned. The, the thumb is between 3 o'clock and 1 o'clock right here. My elbow's slightly bent. I give a full face of the target right here. Right before the ball's thrown, I'm going to relax my hand or make a quarter turn, whatever it is, to relax your hand, and then I'm going to go to the ball and catch the ball. Okay, so good target, relax the hands, and then I'm going to go to make sure I catch the ball. Now, how do we catch the ball? Basically, I call this a shadow drill. What I like to do, if you're going to catch a ball right up here, your hand's going to be positioned like this, on the inside like this, low and in, it's going to be here with the palm up. Somewhere in a point in the middle of your body is where you're going to turn your glove over. There's no exact point. Wherever it's comfortable for you, catch the ball right here. Again, this is, going to, this is the way we're going to catch a ball depending upon where it's thrown. If, for example, I don't want to catch a ball coming in and take it out of the zone right here, so I want to turn it over here. That's why we call this the shadow drill. Up high, on top, around the side, down low, turn it over somewhere in a point in the center of the body right here. Okay? So that's actually catching the ball. Again, we're going to work on catching the ball the proper way and work on relaxing the hand and catching the ball out in front. The one general rule of thumb that I have, the closer I catch the ball to the plate, the better chance it has of being a strike. Okay? For example, if I'm sitting here and I'm going to go barehanded again, I want to catch the ball with some extension out in front. If I catch a ball back here close to my body, all right, it could be a ball outside. But if I catch a curveball out here closer to the plate, it's got a better chance of being a strike and looking like a strike for the, for the umpire, which that's what counts. So when I catch a ball, I not only want to catch the outside half of it, I want to catch it with some extension closer to the plate because it has a better chance of being a strike.